killing it on the scene too. Give it up for Dan Thompson, everybody. Give it up for Tom. Gentlemen, I should say gentlemen, I like to speak with good diction. Because good diction, correct pronunciation, and speaking on your voice are keys to successful performance. I'll give you an example. My name is Daniel Thompson. You'll notice that it's Thompson, not Thompson. There's no P in my last name. Thompson, son of Tom. T-H-O-M-S-O-N, that's to say. <laughs> And it's the correct way to spell it. Because when was the last time any of you ever met a Tompas? Hmm? No one? Not a single Tompy in the house tonight, eh? No Tompies, huh? Well, well, well. Just as I thought. It's no matter, though. Because the Thompson motto is the incontinence motto. Don't let a little pee get away with your time. Okay. Don't let a little dribble make you quibble. Heating up. Don't let that yellow make you know. King winner. Knock, knock, who's there? It's laughter. Let it out. <laughs> Guys, it's a comedy show. It's a give and a take. Come on. You have fun. Incontinence can't hold their pee. That's uh, what you guys are missing in the back. <laughs> Play on. There's a charter school with the slogan, Here, every child is a work of art. And I'm sure that's true of their students, but I think it should be, children are like art. Yeah. Children are like art, because most of them are shitty and make you think, yeah, I could make that. <laughs> What's the big deal? Just squirt and then you pop it out, jeez. <laughs> Call me an artiste. Yeah, I'm unemployed. I would love to tell people that's my job. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm an artist. Uh -huh. Well, I make artisanal babies. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can find me online. Etsy.com backslash tons and tons. Uh -huh. <laughs> tons and tons. You know, I'm actually running a special right now. Half off my oldest work of art. <laughs> they depreciate after two. You're very funny. I, I like to work on characters and, and voices. I'd love to do one or maybe a couple for you guys tonight. Um, thank you, yeah. This, this first one is a little close to home. It's a beginner comic. Uh, would love to be a shot comic, a beginner comic. Hey, uh, so, uh, so they say you are what you eat. And I guess that explains, I guess that explains why I'm an asshole. <laughs> thank you. Uh, well, I'll do another one for you guys. This is, uh, well, this one is actually a professional shock comic, shock comic performing at a family reunion. <laughs> so, you know, they say you are what you eat. You heard this? You are what you eat. Guess that explains why I'm such a big asshole, right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> big asshole, I'm sucking down every day, Nana. No, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> Applause is expected. Oh, guys, please, more. <laughs> I'm sure some of you might be thinking, that sounds like the same joke, and yeah, guys, it is. He grew, he became a professional, and he stands by his material because it's dynamite, all right? <laughs> That's character development, the real deal. While we're on the topic of eating ass, though, I had my teeth cleaned on Monday. <laughs> And you know, I had to go home and immediately send my dentist a picture of my empty, used floss container with the note, Call me a liar again, Steve. <laughs> P.S. When should my gums stop bleeding? <laughs> that's, that's a lot of blood. It's a lot of tension in the world right now. A lot of tension. And then I, I want to help. So I'd love to offer you all a tip to cope. Something I learned as a little boy is that Bad news is better when it's sung. It's easier to digest. I wrote this one a couple of years ago for a few people. Maybe this is for you as well. Bing bong, barely on by. Donald Trump is now the president. It's a lifting melody. It gets you up out of the chair. It makes you think, what's this about? <laughs> this is definitely true. Because no one gives a shit. It ends on a hard note, lyrically. You're right. But you're already dancing, so it's way easier to think, maybe America could be great again, I don't know. <laughs> no? Well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm 
already dancing, so in Footloose, that's a great sign. An oldie but goodie from my life. Oh, I had nobody in my life. I am so lonely, yes, so lonely, I could die. Oh, suicide. <laughs> Thank you. The is expected. They say, write what you know, ladies and gentlemen. And I know depression. <laughs> I also know constipation, but that's another songbook. <laughs> so I'm unemployed. It sucks, but I have a lot of time to think, and I've been thinking a lot about the glory days, and thinking a lot about college, actually. A lot of fun then. In fact, I, I had a nickname in college, uh, Spicy Virgin. <laughs> Loved it. Couldn't get enough of it, really. Loved walking into parties and hearing, like, hey, it's a spicy virgin. And I'd say, like, hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> nice, taquitos. <laughs> Better than my high school nickname, Tender Pussy. <laughs> I think that one's an upgrade. <laughs> spicy virgin. Well, how do you get that nickname? Well, it's when you get naked and then you get nervous. <laughs> a lot of, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I've literally never done this before, so. And smush them, I just uh, help. <laughs> it's okay though, because as things do, I lost my virginity. I lost my virginity when I was 24, 27 now, so uh, get this guy a lobster loaf. I'm still celebrating. <laughs> Why not? So I lost with a beautiful older woman. Oh my god! Incredible. The only way I know how to describe it is like getting the keys to a Ferrari when I should have had my Nana's 92 Corolla. I mean, wow! <laughs> that engine wreck. Couple that with her turning 40 and her mom dying. Y'all, that nice woman, bless her heart, had a lot of issues to fuck out. <laughs> and gosh darn it, I was right in the way! Changed my nickname to Mr. Toad after that because it was one mile ride. You guys get it? <laughs> she was experienced, I was not. Probably sucked for her. So a lot of my friends, you know, lost their virginity in high school, rest in college, and that's okay, but, you know, they'd balk at me and they'd say, ew, gross, an older woman, <laughs> no way. I'd say, guys, guys, come on, fellas, please. You know, older women, older women are like fine wine. Once you blow the dust off, they taste great. <laughs> you want black mold on the bottle, it's a good vintage. That one's for me. <laughs> so, they lost their virginity in high school, rest in college, and that's okay, but, Gosh, you know, I have to imagine that there is a big difference between your high school sweetheart going, it's okay, it's okay, just go slow, and a fully grown woman shoving you on the bed and saying, this isn't for you. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta tell my mom. My name is Daniel Thompson. Thank you all so much. Please welcome up your host, Brian.